In this lesson, we are going to design a house, a sustainable house. That means we're going to be architects. To do this, we are going to look at how to draw a house, what sustainable means, what traditional houses were like, and we're going to look at some examples of sustainable houses, all in the highlands of Scotland. Have you got your pencils and your lined paper ready? Here is a three bedroom house in the Highlands. It has views looking west and south. Think about your site. Is it flat or on a slope? Think about how your house sits on its site. Think about its shape. Is it one simple shape or a more complex 3D object? Think about its orientation. Does it face south? Now on your squared paper, you can draw your plan in pencil. Imagine how the rooms look. How are they going to be used? What furniture and fittings are they going to have? If it's going to be two-storey, where are the stairs going to go? Think about window openings. If they face south, they will receive more solar energy, which will help to heat the house. On your plan, let one centimetre represent one metre. If you complete the layout in pencil, you can draw over it in pen. Draw your outside walls about three millimetres thick and draw your internal walls about one millimetre thick. Draw your door openings with an arc to show the door swing. The plan shows a cut through the whole house about a metre above the floor. This means that on the ground floor you will only see about half the staircase. On the first floor plan you need to show the whole staircase. Draw in furniture like beds in the bedrooms. When you have completed your plans, you can use a colour and shade in the walls so the openings stand out clearly. Now, what does sustainable mean? It's about keeping something going. And it comes from a Latin verb. Therefore, a sustainable house will not harm the environment. Now let's look at some traditional houses in this part of the Highlands as a comparison. These houses have traditional materials like stone, small windows made of timber, slate roofs. From an environmental point of view, these houses have a major problem. They are very expensive to heat. A log fire may look great, but an open chimney allows a great deal of heat loss, especially at night. 
Here's an example of a 1980s bungalow. Many bungalows were built with lower pitched roofs, larger windows and more modern building materials like roof tiles, concrete block work for walls and such. This more recent house has a more traditional pitch of roof but modern features. A sustainable building needs to respond to a number of issues, including design and layout, the choice of materials, the use of energy, heating, lighting and ventilation. Let's look at an example, solar panels. Here is a company in Forres in the local area which makes solar panels. This type of solar collector provides hot water. Cool water is pumped through copper pipes in the collector and it's heated by radiation from the sun producing hot water. Now let's look at some examples of sustainable houses in this part of the highlands. These houses have got large openings facing south and turf roofs because those have a high level of insulation. These houses are not permanent homes, they are experimental eco-mobile homes. In building these they tried to cut down as little of the woodland as possible. This house is made out of straw bales, which is very sustainable as a material. The little flue poking up shows you that they have a wood-burning stove. The roof is made of corrugated metal. Straw bale house. Now look at these buildings and see if you can work out what makes them sustainable. Think about some features you might want to borrow for your design. Okay, I hope you feel inspired. Good luck with your designs. Remember one thing, it's challenging. It takes five years to train as an architect. Thanks for watching.